Welcome to FBB Forum. If you like this content, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm very pleased to welcome the beautiful Women's Physique Pro, Andrea Alonso, back to the podcast. Um, Andrea had a very big day on November 17th, and so we're going to talk a little bit about that and what what's, um, her future plans are, because she's got some big future plans ahead. So welcome, Andrea. It's great to have you back here. Hey, David. Thanks for having me again. I'm excited to be back. Uh, Thank you. This time with a with a title under my belt. <laughs> I know it's so exciting. So so what happened on November seventeenth? Uh so November November seventeenth was a, a very exciting day. Um, I competed in the Ben Weeder Natural Pro, um, and won the women's physique division. And more importantly, I qualified for the twenty twenty four Olympia. Uh, so it truly truly is a dream come true. Um, and I'm very excited to start preparing for for next October. That's terrific. And this was only your second pro show, right? Yeah, this was my second pro show. My my first pro show was the Daytona Pro. Uh, that was uh, seven weeks before that. And I made top five. I got fifth. Um, and then uh, kept kept dieting hard for seven weeks and then was able to, to win this one and, and qualify for the O. So I'm very happy. That's terrific. Uh, what what was your experience like at the at the Ben Weeder Naturals? Um, it was a little different. My my whole family was able to come. Um, so not only my mom, which we've talked about on the uh on your on our interviews before, um, uh, yeah. but also my brother, my sister in law, uh, my sister in law's mom, um, and even my my training partner actually flew out with me from Cleveland. Uh, uh -huh. as well to, to come to dc to to cheer me on so it was really great having them all there um i i am a natural athlete i've been natural lifelong uh so it was great to kind of be on an even platform um and and meet other uh natural uh female bodybuilders so it, it was all r really good able to form relationships with them uh we started following each other on instagram giving each other tips um and, you know, having my family there was all a really great experience. I bet. So you had a big cheering section, huh? I did. Yeah, I did. I could hear them. When you're up there and the lights are on your face, you can't see much. <laughs> uh, but I definitely could hear uh, my training partner shouting my name, my mom and everybody. Yeah. That's great. I um I haven't got a chance to see the video yet, but I didn't know. Um, was it kind of like a, a static backdrop or did they have the LEDs? I, I really... I. I've complained recently about the LEDs in the backdrop because it makes it, I think, really yeah. distracting, you know. They did have an LED screen, I guess, with up with like the emblem of the Ben Weeder Naturals. And there were actually three competitions that weekend. So it was the Ben Weeder Naturals. It wow. was uh, Army focused event. And then uh, another one, uh, I feel bad I'm forgetting, but it was like every day was like a different, uh, a different event. It was uh, Gary Yu to put it on and... Uh, the attendance was crazy for the NPC shows. I mean, there were people lining up out, out the door. Really? Uh, wow. So it was really exciting to see, you know, that much interest in, in bodybuilding in the D.C. area. Uh, it was, so that was really cool. That's um, But, yeah, I mean, I, I guess it, it looked it, it looked cool eye-catching. The stage did with LED lights and everything in the background. But, but you're right. I know this often comes up, especially with the Olympia, uh -huh. where they're like, man, you know, this is the world championships and they try to make the stage look fancy to appease the fans. Uh, but, you know, that might detract from some of the lighting and the shadows hitting the muscle and, and, and everything. But but I get it. I mean, you want to make the stage look nice and eye-catching. Yeah. Uh, but I think the photos look good. Uh, check the photos on NPC News and uh, I think everything looked good. It was, a, it was a great production at a great time. Terrific. Yeah, that. I actually did get to go to the Olympia this year because it was in Orlando. So, and I live in Tampa and I, I, I found the lights situation at the Olympia was a little too much. It was just, it just so distracting when you're trying to watch the athletes and all these lights are like flashing around and, and, you know, and, and the backdrop makes it kind of um, the backdrop is so busy, you know, it's hard to focus on athletes. So I wish I do wish they'd cut back a little bit on some of those led stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what they do. Believe it or not, I I haven't been to the Olympia yet. So so the first Olympia I go to next year, I'll be competing in. That's um, great. You'll be in Vegas. So, 
So I'm really excited. Yeah, and I'm really excited that it's in that it's in Vegas. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Orlando, but as you know, I visit Orlando a lot. Uh, you know, to to see my mom and yeah, yeah my family for the holiday. So it'll be exciting to go somewhere new. Yeah, Vegas will be great. That that was awesome. Um, um. So yeah, I bet you must be excited about going to your first Olympia. I'm so excited, David, and I, so to be just just honest with you, I'm, I'm very I'm very blunt sometimes. It's just the way I am, and open and honest. So I, I know that I, uh, it doesn't come from a lack of self confidence, right? But just especially being a physician and knowing the science behind everything, that you know, being a non enhanced athlete, that I I would never be able to win the Olympia. Uh huh. Right. Sure. It is what it is. So, so for me this is my winning the Olympia It's just being able to compete there and, and, and experience it. Yeah. Um, and so my, my dream has always been, no, you know, I'm going to win the Olympia, you know, and that doesn't, it has not been my dream because I know, you know, I wouldn't be able to, uh, but my dream has been, I want to compete in the Olympia. Uh -huh. And so it's amazing to be able to say, it feels almost surreal that, you know, my dream has come true and I'm going to be able to compete in the Olympia. Uh, so I'm super happy. Oh, I bet. That's a, it's going to be amazing to see up on the big stage like that. And um, yeah, such a great opportunity for you. Yeah, I, I can't wait. Um, My next goal, I'm a very goal-driven person. So I always have to set goals and aim towards them and work towards them. If not, I feel kind of lost, like I'm wandering in the in the abyss. Uh, so my goal would be to to place top 10. Yeah. Uh, and I know that's that's going to be a hefty goal because those girls are amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Would be or or at least place top fifteen, uh -huh. so, I, so I can place. But so so that's what's uh kind of keeping me going, motivating me uh to be training until October. That's terrific. Yeah, I could see you getting top ten. I think you could pull that off for sure. Um, that that would be. Thank you for having so much confidence in me. <laughs> yeah. No, you have. I'll just say great... I know it's a hefty goal. <laughs> oh yeah, but you have such a great look though. So I think I think you could pull it off. So that'd be great. Like, I'm, I'm definitely certainly gonna work my butt off for it yeah uh, we'll see what happens no I'm excited for you um and um you know I think it's cool that you're you're gonna be natural competitor at the Olympia and I think you know so that kind of makes you a good a big role model I think for natural competitors so so that's that I think that the natural folks are going to be looking up to you for sure yeah I, honestly that's what I hope to do with this platform. Uh, I know I'm not very well known in the industry. I'm trying to get my name out there more. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, having sponsorships and followers and everything would be nice. But honestly, what I want to spread out there is I just want to inform more people the sport, especially more women about the sport, because it's done for me so much for me. Mm -hmm. uh, not not like financially. And I, 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 don't, I never seek that from bodybuilding. Mm -hmm you know, finances or fame or things like this. And, and that's why I love it because it's just my own, but I love it because of how it's helped me uh, mentally, emotionally, with my confidence, with getting rid of stress, with my health. And I just want to show that to other people. And that's also a big part of why I remain natural uh, because I just don't want to put any pressure around this sport that I love and mm -hmm. all the good things it brings me or, you know, I don't want to risk my health and, and, and things like that. Um, so what I really want to do with bodybuilding is just bond with other people, introduce it to other people, to other women, uh, get people feeling better, healthier, uh, more confident in themselves and, you know, give them something that's their own that they can be proud of. Uh, both as like a bodybuilding role model and also as a physician. Hmm, that's terrific. That's really cool. Um, that that is interesting. I think that you're a physician because I think, I mean, that's such a time intensive kind of thing to do, and and um, it just seems like it would be hard to to juggle. But do you find it challenging to juggle? Uh, when I'm in prep, yeah. <laughs> I bet. Uh, but thankfully, my my program specifically, for example, you know, when I knew a year out that I was going to be competing in the bed weeder, uh, they helped me a lot with, you know, scheduling, scheduling and having, like, uh, I guess, being on certain areas of my rotations where I would have more time, say, I don't have to come in as early in the morning, I'll be, ha I have to do my fasted cardio, you know, four to six weeks out, so then, okay, you'll be working these floors where the schedule is a little different, mm. so, they were very good about that. Um, 
but at the end of the day, like I said, so the, my two most important things are my career and bodybuilding, right? Mm -hmm. Those are like one of the the top priorities for me. And I, I really believe, I think I said this in our interview last time, that if something's a priority for a person, they will find a way to do it, mm -hmm. right? No mm -hmm. matter what it takes, wake up earlier, go to sleep later, mm -hmm. reorganize other things in their life, you know, no, sorry, I can't hang out tonight. You know, I have to wake up early. I have to go to the gym. Yeah. And, and so because of that, honestly, it has never been that hard for me. Mm -hmm. uh, because those are the two things that I prioritize. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, and, and you said you're wrapping up your residency, so you're going to be finding a, a new job pretty soon, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'll be done with my uh, medicine residency in June, and I've been looking at jobs. I've flown down to Florida a couple of times already to look at jobs along the East Coast. Um, you know, Florida, I feel like it's slowly becoming the, the new mecca of bodybuilding. Yeah. Uh, tons of NPC shows, tons of opportunities there to compete, to, uh, you know, do posting clinics, just meet other bodybuilders, a ton of amazing gyms. Um, the weather's great. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. I would love to move down there. That's awesome. I hope you can find a, a, a job down here and a good place to live and stuff too. And, and the Space Coast area is really nice, too. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, like you said, Sherry Priyami, I know you've interviewed her. She's down there. Yeah. Uh, Sharonica Henton is down there in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, she gave me some po some great posing classes. Uh, and everyone's moving down there, right? Seabum's down there. Derek Lutzford is down there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I think everybody's just migrating. <laughs> I know it is. That's, that's really great from, from a fan yeah. perspective because there is so many great bodybuilders here so yeah yeah you can go check out this gym see if i you know spot <laughs> one of the one of the uh -huh. men's open guys you know that'd be that'd be great i kind of geek out on that oh yeah that'd be awesome huh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um now i was curious are, are do you want to do any more competitions in 2024 or are you just going to focus on the olympia um so i definitely want to do the bed weeder again yeah um, like I said, I'm a very goal driven person. And if I don't have something that I'm working towards, either both in my career or in my sport, uh, I, I kind of feel a little lost. So, uh, yeah. as of right now, I think I'm going to want to compete in the bed weeder every year okay. uh, so that I can qualify to, uh, you know, for the Olympia every year and just be able to experience that again. And maybe, you know, maybe I place top 15, uh, this year and then my next goal would be top 12 and then my next goal would be top 10 and mm -hmm. you know keep it going until my body I guess you know gives out on me <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully uh yeah and because of muscle maturity and everything I think that's another great thing about bodybuilding it's like yeah. you don't peak really until you're in your mid 30s later uh -huh. 30s and then and then you know you might have hit your peak then but I think you could still get some good years out of it, even into your early forties, you know, if you stay dedicated with the diet and, and, and the working out. Uh, so, so that's a really unique thing about bodybuilding. So I feel like I have a lot of longevity in this, in the sport. Yeah, um, definitely. How old are you now? I'm 32. 32. Yeah. 32, yeah. Um, so hope to be doing it, you know, wait, and then, you know, then they have master's classes and everything, but, uh, I mean, that's why I love it. I mean, this is just my my passion, my hobby. I have my career, you know, so I don't feel like, oh, you know, after a few years, I don't want to deal with the pressure anymore. I want to, you know, it's just, I just love to do this for fun and I just want to keep doing it. <laughs> that's terrific. That's very cool. Um, yeah, like you mentioned Sherry Priyami and she's almost 50 now, but she's like- yeah, she, 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 she looks a lot younger. I, I know. Wow. And now she's top four and, you know, in the world yeah. and you know, she's doing really well. So yeah, kind of cool that, you know, that I think bodybuilding does bring a lot of longevity to to women. And, and so it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And even I'm going to be lifting weights for the rest of my life, even if I, you know, even if I'm not competing, I could see potentially maybe a few years down the line getting sick of the diet prep. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah i understand yeah that would be <laughs> i think that's probably what's gonna break me first uh, but i think i'll keep <laughs> lifting weights you know for for as long as i can that's terrific that's very yeah. cool now i was curious um uh are you getting more social media attention now that you've um had your pro debut and and did so well at ben weeder uh, I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't that much. Um, I so certainly appreciate you taking the time to interview me again. And 
uh, helping me get my name out there. Um, and so, and I think I've talked to you, I'm going to try to reach out, you know, to other bodybuilding, Instagram pages, YouTube sites, and try to get my name out there, you know, yeah. uh, you, you gotta be your own biggest fan. So you can't uh -huh. wait, you know, early bird gets the worm. I can't just sit here and, you know, expect people to reach out to me. Uh, like I said, I'm always very driven with everything. And so I'm starting to reach back out to you. See if you wanted to interview me again, I, I'm going to be reaching out to, to a few more uh, media channels and see if I can get on there and hopefully uh, gain some more followers, gain some more fans. That's terrific. Yeah, no, definitely. I think that's a great idea. And um, you have such a good look. I think, you know, I think that you deserve more attention for sure. You know. Oh, thanks so much. I, I really appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Um. And we talked about sponsorships, but um, have you had much sponsor interest or, or you know, because it'd be great if you could get like a suit sponsor or, or um, you know, um, something like that, training sponsor or whatever. Not not yet, but that's what I'm hoping to get to. Um, actually, this uh, uh, kind of athletic wear brand, not very well known yet, but Compression C sent me some athletic wear, um, but... That's about it so far. <laughs> no huge names, uh, but I know that at this day and age, it's all about the social media, uh -huh. right? So even if you, this is a little exaggeration. Of course, if you win the Olympia, you know, you're going to get some attention. Yeah. But so this, don't take this too, too seriously. But I mean, even if you win the Olympia, right? And you have 500 followers, I mean, you know, it, it's going to be hard to get a sponsor, right? It's all about how many followers do you have, like 100K, 200K, and that's when you start getting the sponsorships and everything. Yeah, I'm um, sure. Yeah. So that's why yeah. I'm trying to kind of get my name out there, do more interviews, continue competing, uh, hopefully, sure. you know, network with more people and more competitors um, as as I go. Um, yeah. That's terrific. No, I think you're going to get more attention over time and, and um even just getting a suit sponsor would be great because I know those suits are so expensive, you know. <laughs> they are quite expensive. And I've honestly, I've used my same suit for my last four competitions. So I think it's time to hang it up and I'm going to be needing a new one. <laughs> yeah, get a new one. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so, so we'll see. I mean, thankfully, I've been blessed with a very good career. Yeah. Um, so I can you know, finance this very expensive hobby of mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah but it would be yeah. awesome to, to, you know, have some sponsors and network and meet more people and, and everything. That'd be terrific. Um, now I was wondering, how is your mama doing Astrid? Cause I, I really <laughs> like her. She's so sweet. And she's really she's excited doing, about you being at the O too. Yeah. Yeah. She's doing well. She will be at the O. Uh, I, I told her I was, uh, you were interviewing me again. You know, she recalled how she how she met you at Daytona. You were so kind and nice, and uh, oh, we thank got you. her on the screen there too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so she's doing well. Uh, excited at the you know potential of me moving to Florida for mm -hmm. work. Uh, and just working a lot. She's also a very hard worker. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. That's probably where I where I get it from. Oh, that's uh, great. And actually, she. Uh, she wanted to lose a little bit of weight. So she actually got on my cutting diet and I think she's lost like 10 pounds and she loves it. And she even really? packs her, her rice, her sweet potatoes, her chicken into the Ziploc bag. She sends me pictures. She freezes them for the week, just gets them out the night before. And she's been enjoying her, uh, her own little prep. Yeah. That's, That's so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. She was commenting and that uh, they did some master's divisions in the NPC show the same weekend of the Ben Weeder, like I said, they had multiple shows that weekend. Yeah. And she was like, oh man, those ladies in their 50s, they're in their 50s, or they're in the 60s. Maybe I could try. You know, maybe I could try oh, to do this. <laughs> that'd be cool to have her compete. I don't know how serious she was. I mean, I definitely support it, but uh, but yeah, I think she's kind of getting into uh, the lifestyle is rubbing off on her. That's terrific. That's maybe she could compete against you. That'd be kind of cool too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember when they used to do partners? Yeah, like partner competitions, kids. right? I know. Did they ever do like, like, like a uh, you know parent and son or daughter? I don't, I don't know. Not that I ever saw, but they had the yeah the men and women the mixed. The, pairs. Yeah, that's interesting. We got to bring that yeah. back. I know. I like mixed pairs. Was great. Yeah, that would be kind of cool with mother and daughter too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. 
in terms of um I, I just think it's kind of neat that you might I don't know if you might be the first Olympian from Peru because I know you and your mom are from Peru yeah uh I haven't looked into that I think I might be just because I haven't heard but I don't want to be uh diminishing anybody else's shine if, if I'm not so I'll have to I'll have to look that up to, to I fact know. yeah Be but that, I hadn't even thought of that that's that's neat that you meant that you thought of that and mentioned that oh yeah I think that Peruvian connection is really cool my um my sister-in-law is actually from Peru and um and I've learned a lot about the culture and they they my brother and her wanted to bring me over to visit in Chimbote sometime soon so I need to get over there and and, and take the trip and get to Lima I would definitely jump on that you know we have the best gastronomy in the world we have like uh, three of the top 10 restaurants in the world. Wow. And uh, you'll find this funny. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, Peruvian food here in Cleveland. So when we were in the sea after the competition, my my celebration meal with my family and everything, we went to a Peruvian restaurant. Oh, nice. Oh, I love yeah, Peruvian so, food. So good. Oh, yeah, I love it. So, so I definitely recommend your trip to Peru. And anybody watching this, please go try Peruvian food. It's oh, the best. Yeah. It's delicious. We have several Peruvian restaurants here in Tampa and there, yeah, the food is so good. So yeah. Oh yeah. That's another <laughs> reason why I want to move down to Florida. The Peruvian oh. food there is so good. <laughs> and it's healthy too. It's great bodybuilding food. Ceviche, oh. fish, lomo saltado, a lot of meat, potatoes. Uh-huh. It's good even, for bulking season. <laughs> maybe even the chaufa because it's got the rice and stuff in there. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ch yeah. Chicken, shrimp, everything. <laughs> um. Well, very cool. I think we're almost out of time. I, I was wondering if you'd do a quick flex for me, but I'm going to mute myself and, and shoot it back to you. Yeah, of course. Everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, please follow me on Instagram at Dr. A Lifts. Uh, send me a message. If you guys have any questions about bodybuilding, about being a woman in bodybuilding, uh, or anything else you, you want to know. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Andrea. It's really good to see you again. Likewise, David. Thanks again for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. And and I'll get this posted uh, shortly. But um and um yeah, definitely reach out to to Andrea because she's she's just really amazing. And um I think you have a really amazing backstory too. So I think uh, folks gotta check you out. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to to just chatting with people and uh, bonding over the weights. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very cool. I think that's awesome. <laughs> nice seeing you. All right, I'll see you. Bye. Bye.